Welcome to pick a card. Okay, so think of a situation that you'd like some help with from the angels. Just one situation in your life. And then when you've thought of your situation, I want you to hold it in your mind. And then think of either number one, two or three. As you can hear, I'm shuffling. As soon as you're ready. Okay, let's get cracking. If you've chosen option one, keep the images of your situation that you want help with in your mind and send energy to me now. And I'll select a card. Thank you. Got that. Thanks. Keep sending, keep sending. All right, you can stop option one, people. Thank you. Option two, people, send your energy to me now, please. Thank you. Okay, you can stop. Thanks. And then option three, people, send your energy now. Thank you. All right, you can stop. Thanks very much. Okay, so option one, people, then the card I chose for you is the Emperor. Um, and the overall energy is a Wheel of Fortune. So let's have a look at the Wheel of Fortune first. This tells me that everything is just about to turn in your favour. You're going to have a stroke of good luck that brings everything into alignment. Now, this emperor could be you. It could be um, a main masculine energy, a divine masculine energy in your life. Don't forget, tarot doesn't really take a lot of notice of gender. So whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. Let's take the energy of the emperor. He is somebody who has earned the right to own the empire. So whatever your situation is, own it. Yeah, you are in full control here. And even if you can't see the process through to the end, the emperor always knows a man who can. Yeah, or a woman who can. And so I want you to focus on everything that's going right with this situation. So let's attract more positive energy by using an attitude of gratitude and just watch how when that wheel flips it will flip even better okay so if you're feeling lousy and it flips and you're just going to be feeling okay but if you're already feeling fantastic and that wheel flips then you're going to feel on top of the world like the emperor now the one thing about the wheel of fortune it could actually indicate divine timing is at play so the universe because it's a major arcana card the universe is in control of this so if you're wanting events to unfold quicker you can't even the emperor can't bring something quicker when divine timing's involved so let's have a look at her face on this card i'm using the light seer's tarot she is so happy she's got lucky dice around her neck and she knows she's on top of the world and please take that energy on with the added en energy of the emperor you're only going to see this through very lucky cards okay it might be taking its time but when it actually all falls into place you will be cock a hoop <laughs> i don't know where that little phrase came from i hope that helped option one people okay option two people oh <gasps> more nice cards we've got the, ch the card I chose for you is a major arcana and it's the High Priestess. Now she is very intuitive, she's a healer, she's an empath and she has all of the secrets. So number one, in your situation, use your intuition, okay? Use your skills, your powers and your abilities because she doesn't rely on anybody else, the Empress, sorry, the High Priestess. She doesn't need to. She relies on her own intuition, her own skills and abilities. And if she needs any help, she goes up, she asks source or perhaps the angels. So perhaps you could do that. Now, the overall energy, I've been holding it back. A bit of a teaser, really, because it's fabulous. It is the victory card. Now, this is the six of wands. And this usually follows a battle, which is the five of wands. And so she has earned that right to be either on stage, because on this card she's on stage, she's um, receiving, I don't know, the adoration of her audience, I don't know. But ordinarily, in the Rider Waite deck, 
it is a um, warrior or a soldier or something coming back from battle and he has the wreath and you can actually see him in the picture passing on that wreath so whatever's going on here the very lucky cards these the self-empowering cards as well you've really earned the right to um, celebrate your own success i love this energy because whatever your situation is right now i'm not worried you've already won you're already wise whatever needs to happen you've got it in the bag and you've got all the skills and all the connections the higher connections to really make this a good job and a job well done wow i hope that helped you option two people option three people another major arcana that's nice you've all had a major arcana card um so this one for you then i'm gonna just think yeah this i chose this for you this is the strength card now if you can see in this picture she's got um half a lady's face and half a lion's face or yeah it is a lion and uh, a lioness because she's got a mane uh, so what it's saying is you have the strength of a lion but you also have the gentleness of a lion with a lamb yeah you've not you have no intentions of eating your lamb uh, at the same time you can overcome anything because you have the gentleness you have the patience and you also have the connection with spirit now this is a major arcana card so they bring in the strength for you they help you through your situation right now the overall energy is the king of swords now he is fabulous because he has a very clear mind he's very logically minded he never thinks with his heart ever he always thinks with his head he has a strategy he puts it into place and he follows his plan he has determination he has motivation he also could represent um, somebody like a policeman or um, a solicitor or an accountant or somebody who has used his head to get to where he is and do the job well. He could even own his own business. He could be an entrepreneur. So by looking at these cards, I know you have the patience and the strength to see this situation through. But I also, either this is you, the King of Swords, because don't forget, we're not bothered about gender. It's the energy of the card. So either you put these skills into place to see this task through or enlist somebody to help you. Call somebody in, perhaps. You do need the help of a solicitor or an accountant or whoever, a travel agent. I don't know what your, your issue is. But if you can see these two energies together, they're very powerful. They are um, both determined and they both have strength, strength of character. Maybe he's a little bit less patient than her. But with patience, your situation will fold into place very easily. And um, it will fall into place exactly as it's meant to. Don't forget that strength card comes from the... Um, universe so the universe has an idea of the bigger picture maybe that's what's missing here i don't know why i'm being given this information at the end yes yeah, see the bigger picture and you might understand why things haven't sorted themselves out just yet they haven't come to fruition just yet but when they do it will be brilliant well i hope that helped you thanks for joining me for pick a card see you next time